Hello guys and welcome back. If this is your first time, I hope you will stay. Espero que te quedes. So today I would like to look at the 20 most popular verbs in Spanish at GCSE level. I'm not saying they are the only 20 verbs you're going to need to know, but you will need to know these going into any exam, okay? Um, and second on the agenda, I would like to show you an easy way to talk in the future tense if you cannot remember the ending for the common, the normal way of conjugating your verbs um, in the present, in the future um, tense. Sorry about that. Okay, um, so let's get um, started and let's look at the 20 verbs. As you can see, I've written them here. So the Spanish in red and the English in blue. So, and the verb, the verb ser, which is to be, we have two ways of saying that. Ser and estar. So ser is a permanent um, way. So for example, soy um, carry. I'm carry. I'm always going to be carry. I'm never going to, sh to change. Es Estar you use to describe states. So, um, estoy feliz. I'm happy. Maybe tomorrow I won't be. Or estoy enferma. I'm sick. I'm not always going to be sick. So, temporary things, permanent states. That's the difference between the two estars. So, to be, we, we, um, this is the way we express them. Tener, to have. Hacer, to do. Querer, to want or to love. Te quiero. Saber, to know. Again, two ways of saying saber. Saber is um, ability. So, um, when you want to express that you know how to do something. For instance, sé nadar. Mi padre sabe cocinar. He know, my father knows how to, to um, do something. What verb should I use? Mi, mi padre sabe cocinar. My father knows how to cook. Okay, sé nadar, I know how to swim. Okay, so it's ability, showing ability to do something. Whereas conocer um, is no, is no as well, but it's knowing people or places. So, conozco a una chica muy inteligente. Okay, I know a very intelligent girl. Okay, and to know something, uh, saber, again, I just explained that, didn't I? <laughs> This is what happens when you're rushing. The problem is there's a class over there and they're really noisy and so I'm trying to finish this really, really quickly so they don't um, get, we don't hear too much noise in here. So if you do hear loads of noise halfway through the video, it's because of that and I apologize um, before. Um, okay, ir to go. And I've put in a star here because I'm going to further explain um, how you can use the verb to go to talk about the future, okay? Ver, to see, yo veo, te veo, I see you. Vivir, to live, you're always going to have to talk about where you live or where somebody else lives and so you have to, you, are, you need to know this and be able to use it as well. Hablar, to speak. Pensar, to think. Decir, to say. Parecer, to see. Por ejemplo, Parece un chico inteligente. He seems like a clever boy. Okay? Salir, to go out. Escribir, to write. Dar, to give. It's irregular. Te doy mi boli. I'm giving you my pen. Doy. Yo doy, tu das, el da, and so on. Okay? Sentir, to feel. Volver, to return. Mañana vuelvo. Okay, as well this is an irregular verb. Vuelvo, return. Comer, to eat. Muy bien. So do check to make sure you do know all of these verbs. If there's something that you don't quite know on this list, just go over it and revise it. And also get some more words from your um, GCSE Spanish vocab list. Not just verbs but also nouns, adjectives, and so on. Right, so say you want to talk in the future tense, but you've forgotten how to do, um, what is the, where is my pen? Say you've forgotten how to do the normal conjugation. Um, for example, the normal con con conjugation in the future would be, I'm uh, taking the verb comment, it would be, yo 
comeré, tú comerás, él comerá, and so on. So if you find this um, way more difficult to understand or to remember the endings, okay, throw that in the bin. Let's throw that in the bin if we're finding it too complicated. And use the verb to go. So conjugated, as you can see here, in the present tense. And even though it is in the present tense, we can use it to express future plans. So to express or talk about the future. So, boy, vas, va, vamos, vais, van. So your boy plus a verb. So what you would do to make the future tense when you're talking, for example, if you're talking about nosotros, me and a group of friends, uh, something we're going to do. Nosotros vamos a salir esta noche, okay? We're going to go out. Vamos a salir. Vamos, take it from here. The verb, as it is, vamos a salir, okay? We're going to go. So with this, all you need to express the future is the right subject plus a verb. Okay? So, um, let's try again. Boy, I'm talking about something I'm going to do. Okay? Boy, a uh, escribir. I'm going to write. Boy, a escribir sobre mi familia. Okay? I'm going to write about my family. So, this is another way of talking about the future uh, without using the simple future, um, which we also teach and it is also a tense you need to know, but I find that a lot of people find this way much easier to talk about the future. Okay, it's a very easy way to do to do it, and that way you're not learning, you're not learning the structure all over again because you would know this conjugation from actually conjugating in the present tense um, the verb to be. Okay. I hope that you have found this useful and I am wishing you muchísima, muchísima suerte in your mocks and in the real thing when it comes around, okay? And if you need any help at all, do not hesitate to drop me a line and I will try my very best to help you out. And until next time, chicos. And guys, before I forget, if you have not already subscribed, please do so below for more videos. Hasta pronto. Adiós.